Yes, FBI. Hi, what's yeah. going on? We believe your husband's partner was murdered. What? Let's all stop playing this game, shall we? Lying, the running. Aren't you both tired? We made a Netflix certainly got themselves a winner with this show. Fire, stick, and chill. We are talking Ozark and why you should watch it. If you can just get through the first couple of episodes that are a little slow in pacing, but it picks up pretty fast. Great story. We're going to discuss it in this video. If you're finding me for the first time, please go ahead, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell so you're down every time we drop these Life Games videos, helping you make more informed decisions about your money and how you spend your time. And if you really, really enjoy my content, go down there, click on that Patreon link and join it. Help a brother out. It's hard for us brothers getting donations on Patreon. Let's jump into this video, show you why you should watch Ozark. What's good, peoples? It's your boy, old Uncle Ma, in the building, bringing you another fire stick and chill what to watch on the weekends before the football games, of course. And before we talk about it, let's go ahead and do this. I got to put on my plus seven glasses of the sexy as hell because I'm working on skilling up my craft, giving you a better YouTube experience, something better to look at. Always check my video description affiliates and sponsors of this video HD IPTV $14 a month you get pay-per-view sports premium TV all that shoplifegains.com they've got discounted streaming boxes boxes that normally cost 75 to 100 you can find them in there from 25 to 50 dollars Ozark stars an old school guy Jason Bateman y'all might remember him way back in the day from this show Well, he's come back on the Netflix original series called Ozark. And if you was a fan of Breaking Bad, you'll love Ozark. If you are a fan of those type of shows in that story arc, dealing with drugs, cartels, Mexican cartels, Spanish cartels, you will love this show because it stars Jason Bateman, who is a CPA, and he gets entangled through his damn homeboy with a Mexican drug cartel, big time Mexican drug cartel. So much so that originally the friend tries to do some dirty things to that cartel. They kill him and they was going to kill Jason Bateman's character. But Jason Bateman cuts a deal, says that we need to move to the Ozarks because we can flip this product. I can move and watch more of your money. He survives. The only problem is in this show, it portrays the Ozarks as a place where you've got lots of rich people that come in vacation, but the people that live there are these old country bumpkin rednecks. And so immediately, as soon as Jason Bateman moves there, he's got problem after problem after problem. First of all, trying to get business going. They looking at him like, you city slicker, we not effing with you. Then when he does get business going, he bumps head with the people who are running the biggest little drug cartel in that town, which is an old school redneck and her crew. Then you've got a band of little rednecks that like to steal. One of those characters you will fall in love with, she starts out really, really dirty, then she winds up turning bad because she wants to feel like she can belong to a family. And that's a pretty good story. Not to mention Jason Bateman's character has a wife who was cheating on him with a guy that gets killed early on in the season. Pretty harsh dynamic between those two. Then they've got two kids, teenage daughter, and for my folks out there that's got teenage daughters, you know how, how edgy that can be when the hormones start running. Then he's got a little cool, smart son who just wants to belong to a family. And so you've got all those dynamics going on and eventually everybody in the family winds up having to help Jason Bateman wash this money, including the kid. They have to watch each other's back. 
They have to move into a foreign house with a guy who is old school, who's on his deathbed, who they still haven't really revealed why he's moved to the Ozark, but you can tell this guy was a bad son of a bitch back in the day. And he winds up saving their bacon a couple of times too, even though they kind of have a love-hate relationship. So ladies and gentlemen, this would be excellent binge watching TV on Friday or Saturday. Excellent binge watching TV if you having a date coming over that you just met on Plenty of Fish or Match.com. Great TV, good five stick and chill entertainment. I'm encouraging you guys to watch it and leave me comments. If you've already seen it, tell me what you think. Tell me how you feel like it compares to other shows in this same realm. And would you, what would you recommend that's similar to this? And that's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment and subscribe. Go get yourself a life gang. Check that video description box. We've got life gangs down there that help you make life easier. Services and products that are at a great deal that can help change your life. And we just want you to start considering checking that description box as we keep good things down there. And until that next sexy as hell video, I'll see you.